three main ways people turn the steering wheel. One, hand over hand. Two, the method which I call milking the cow. And three, the method I call wiping the dishes. There's some debate on this, here's my take on it. First, you should turn the wheel with both hands whenever possible. The method which I always recommend when doing turns that are moderately sharp to very sharp is hand over hand. And the main reason why is because the tighter the turn, the easier it'll be to do it with this method. Basically, if you need to turn the wheel more than a quarter of a turn, you should use this method. Crossing your hands though, is something you should do only if the curve is somewhat sharp to very sharp. In wider curves, you'll just keep your hands in the same position and turn the wheel slightly. Just as you'll do when changing lanes or when doing any other maneuver where you don't need to turn the wheel that much. Also note that when using this method, it's the hand on the opposite side of the direction where you want to go that starts turning the wheel. So if you're turning right, it's the left hand that starts turning, then the right crosses over it, and so on. The sharper the curve, the more you need to cross the hands. When exiting curves, especially very tight ones, you can let the wheels slide between your hands. The wheels will reposition themselves better that way. But don't let go of the wheel completely. Keep your hands on it, but let it slide. As for the milking the cow method, I don't like it very much, so the only situations where I see it being useful is in very wide turns where you don't have to do more than one or two touches on the wheel. However, if that's what's required where you're driving, then do it. And finally, the wiping the dishes method. Like I said earlier, you should always keep both hands on the wheel when turning. But one situation where this method is helpful is when backing up because you can put your right hand on the passenger seat's headrest, so that makes it easier for you to turn your body to look back. That way, you can turn the wheel only with your left hand. One thing that you should never do though, is to put your hand under the wheel like you see so many people do. And mainly for two reasons. First, the airbag on the driver's side is inside the steering wheel. So imagine if your airbag explodes while your hand is in this position, you can seriously injure your hand, wrist, forearm, and so on. Second, you can also seriously injure your wrist in another way. And this is something that happened to someone I know, and I'll illustrate the situation. She was driving in a curve and got hit by another vehicle. The vehicle hit her front wheels. So what happened in that situation is that the wheels turned to the opposite direction violently. So that means the steering wheel also turned violently. Since her wrist was under the wheel, it broke with the impact. If she had her hands over the wheel, it would have simply slid between them. So try to never use this method. There's no reason why you should. It can also be dangerous to drive with just one hand on top of the wheel. If the airbag explodes, you can seriously injure your arm and your face. When you hold the wheel with both hands, the airbag will push your arms away. So be safe and thanks for watching.